Hello my lovely friends, my name is Ava and today I have my book haul from Book Bonanza 2023. Now my voice does sound a little hoarse because I did a lot of talking in this past week. I don't talk that much and so um, my voice is hoarse because of that. So um, yeah, my voice does not sound like it normally does. Anyway, um, today I thought I would show you all of the books that I ended up getting signed and that I bought from Book Bonanza and just like, I guess, talk about my experience with these authors while hauling their books and how it was meeting them and maybe show pictures of me with them. I am so excited that I got to just hang up with my friends. The main reason why I wanted to go besides meeting Ruby Dixon <laughs> um, was getting to see my wonderful friends that some of them I have not ever met in person before. And I'm so, so, so grateful for that. Like my two roomies, Victoria and Zay, I literally have never met them before ever in my life, like in person. And when we met each other in person, it was like, oh, we've known each other for years. Like it's crazy how like book internet friends can just easily become your in-person friends. And it really sucks that we don't all live close to each other because I would see them like every single day. <laughs> I had a wonderful time with all of the friends that I ended up seeing that week. Like, I feel like those are the memories that I'm gonna remember the most is seeing all of my wonderful friends. And so you can check out my Instagram if you wanna see pictures of me with all my wonderful friends that I got to see in uh, Dallas or Grapevine. Um, but yeah, I ended up driving four hours to the Dallas area on Monday um, and actually stayed with my best friend from high school who lives in Dallas and I got to hang out with her for a few days and then on Wednesday I met up with everybody at the hotel the Gaylord and that started our fun fun times together and we got to just hang out and have like a blast. For me personally what I've experienced at Book Bonanza like everything went smoothly for me except for uh the wristband situation um because that was a little chaotic except especially for someone who has a disability and had a mobility aid and there was an absolute like mob before we got into the like actual signing room to grab all the wristbands for that and um i had some wonderful friends like protect me from people trying to run me over with my walker <laughs> so um uh luckily though like the volunteers of Book Bonanza like pulled out people with mobility aids from the crowd or if you had a disability and uh, we got to go in through a separate door which was very much less stressful like I was about to uh before they pulled me out I was literally in the mob for maybe like five minutes or ten minutes before they pulled me out and I was at the point where like I was about to hurl like I was so nauseous and not feeling well because of everything and so I'm very grateful that they pulled me out of that situation and so I got to stand in that line with a lovely Tori um the like ADA line so um I feel like their ADA services um for the lineup situation were done very well we were set up away from everybody else so we did not get run over and did not get trampled um because no matter what you tell people when you tell them not to run there are people who run so um I was very grateful that that nothing bad happened to me. Anyway, so um, let's get into these books. And um, I'm very excited to talk about them. I kind of have like piles. Um, the majority of these books are, no surprise here, from Ruby Dixon, okay? I brought like over 30 books for her to sign. I had to go in her line like 30 times. Not 30 times, I'm so sorry, three times. <laughs> And um, I came home with more than 30 books from her because I did some pre-orders and bought some books there. So um, I have three different stacks of Ruby books. This stack here are all books that um, I brought with me that Ruby just signed and didn't personalize because I had a lot of books and she had a lot of people that she had to see. So um, these were just ones that she signed um, and with no personalization and I will treasure these like forever. Um, so I'm not gonna be going through these one by one, obviously. And then these are the books that I brought with me that she did personalize. So I kind of want to show off like the the things she put into the books because uh, she did a lot of personalizations for people in her lines. And I will say her line out of everyone in that entire signing room was probably the most organized out of all of them that I went to. Like she has a separate line for merch and like book purchasing. And then she had like the line for signing and the pictures with her. Um, and so I was in, I went into both lines. I saw her the first day I ended up getting like a number 50 
like lineup wristband number for her and I was so like I was so happy I was so happy because we know like the main reason why I went to book Bonanza when it comes to authors was to see Miss Ruby Dixon because I love her with my whole heart and chest so um it was very surreal meeting her um Victoria ended up filming like a five minute clip of me talking and meeting with her the first time so I got to see her I think um I went with Victoria twice uh, in line with her to get my book signed twice and then I was like you know what after those first two times I'll like I'll come back later I don't want to monopolize her there are many people who want to see Ruby and so um, I went back later with Tiffany and because um, Tiffany recently read um, Barbarian's Prize which is in this stack somewhere and um, just watching Tiffany and Ruby talk to each other like I was like crying <laughs> like, like I just loved watching them interact with each other and like Ruby I love that woman so much and she she cried after meeting me and Tiffany like apparently like I came back from meeting Ruby for the first time and my friends were like she's crying like she's crying right now I'm like no she's not like like we're all sweating we're all wiping sweat off of us like she's not crying and then I met her with Tiffany and then she was crying talking to both of us and I was like no freaking way this woman is crying over me like <laughs> like oh my gosh I love her and then I kept bumping into her like throughout the signing like and the hotel like it was crazy like I love that woman so much she's so talented and so sweet and so nice and um like for it being her first signing ever like like her team and her did a fantastic job like fantastic job like they were amazing and so I do have some pictures with Ruby obviously I saw her uh three times but I only took pictures like the first time I met her and then the the last time uh the third time I only saw her day one because I didn't want to monopolize her time and see her again on the second day Victoria was actually the last person in Ruby Dixon's line and like oh my gosh she got some free books for Ruby because she was the last person in her line like <laughs> oh I'm so happy for her I ended up giving Victoria three of my books that I forgot to give Ruby to sign so Ruby just signed those three and they're in like the stack I already showed you that aren't personalized and then Victoria said that that Ruby said hi to me and that um yeah I love her I love her so much like I'm still in shock that I got to meet her she is beautiful and so sweet like I love her so much okay this whole video could be like me gushing about this woman so we're gonna we're gonna just get into the books so Barbarian Alien she ended up writing happy to see you each time because I think this was like the third time I went in her line so she, I don't have these in order. Barbarian, mine, she signed. It was so great to meet you, like, okay. We're gonna have to like speed through these because this video is gonna be an hour long. I was telling her that uh, Debbie's Distraction was probably my favorite book in the series and she wrote one of my faves too. Then for Barbarian's Hope, she wrote Avery Almost There, like of her finishing the stack she was writing in. When She's Lonely, she wrote, hi and then oops because she did like a little typo it's cute it's fine i love it barbarians taming says let's get it out this backlist is stellar like <laughs> okay i told her barbarians redemption was my favorite book in the series and so she wrote avery fellow back fan like <laughs> Mm-hmm, mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Willa's Beast, which is a part of the Ice Home series. She says hi. <laughs> I told her this book is my favorite book she's probably ever written. And she wrote, this is one of my favorites too. Like, I wish I could just like display my books like this, like on my shelf with all of the things that she wrote in them. Um, Barbarian's Touch is, I just blew myself. <laughs> Barbarian's Choice, which is Farley's book. She wrote Enjoy BB23. Here's the old copy of Barbarian's Prize. And this one says, may you resonate. Then we have Barbarian's Heart, which is her like amnesia book, which says, love seeing the old covers. <laughs> like that's what we, we talked a lot about these old covers. And then the last one is the Prime Jewel. Like if you watch my Instagram, if you follow me on Instagram, the last clip that I have of my post about meeting Ruby Dixon is about like us talking about this book. And she basically told me like, people would kill you for this copy of this book. And I was like, oh yeah, I've had a bunch of DMs 
getting wanting a copy of this book because this is the first edition of the king spinster bride the covers have changed since then and apparently a lot of people want this copy but no one's getting it i told her i was like no one's getting this it is mine <laughs> so um in this one she wrote this one is so special I actually loved meeting her so much and just getting to like talk to her. It was so special too because the girls and I went uh, to dinner um, like in the resort on uh, the first night of the signing, so Friday night, and Tiffany, Tiffany and I had met her that day and we're sitting next to each other like outside of this like Italian restaurant. And now that was apparently the place that Ruby was gonna go eat dinner with some of her friends. And she walked past us and was like, oh my gosh, it's my friends, Tiffany and Avery. And we were like, so um, I just about died. Okay, last stack for my Ruby splurge are all of the books that I ended up buying. Um, this is pre-orders and then the special editions that I bought at the signing. And then I also bought like a something else. So um, I will show you. So I think my three favorite things that I ended up getting from her table was uh, she had art prints for sale. That's so why I could only pick one because each one was $10. And like, I should have splurged and got all of them, but I didn't. So I got Barbarian's Mate. I think she had the first book and um, the second book, like Liz and Rahash's book, um, two as like art prints that you could get signed. So these were like $10 each. And then she also had like amazing free like swag on her table. Like I splurged and got so much of it, but um, I'm going to be doing like a swag haul um, for Book Bonanza for my channel members. So um, if you wanna know everything that I got like swag wise that aren't like books, that things I didn't really purchase, um, you can go join my membership down below, be a channel member. Um, I think you pay like $3 a month to like get early videos from me and get like an exclusive video a week from me. Um, so you can go check out my channel memberships below. It's literally three bucks a month, no worries if not. But I was just saying, if you want to know like all of the stuff I haul that aren't books, you can go check out my um, channel memberships for that because that video will be up very soon for channel members. Um, anyway, probably the crown jewel of this entire signing are these two babies like i love these these are the exclusive book bonanza special editions of the king spinster bride and the half orcs maiden bride by uh ruby dixon and um, i'm obsessed with these i'm going to show them off so this one is the king spinster bride one of my favorite ruby books of all time i think it's like number two possibly look at how stunning this is it's like shiny and then like the feeling of it is beautiful as well. There's the spine and a back with the quote that says, um, she is mine, she has always been mine, she will always be mine. Oh, I love that. I think I got mascara. Yep, I got it off. I got mascara or something on the back of this. It's fine, it's fine. I'm going to like display these on my shelf. Oh, by the way, also too, for my channel members, y'all are getting a um, like a bookshelf reorganization video and the majority of that video is going to be me reorganizing my shelves to make room for all of the new ruby books that i have so that video will be filmed very soon so i'm gonna do that for my channel members too anyway um this book these two books are going to be displayed on my shelves from now on there is the dust jacket and these books have step backs so look how beautiful this step back is and then also they are on the back flap as well and then when you take the flap off it is like printed on here it's all glossy it's just so stunning like this book is stunning and then when you oh you flip through it there is a bookmark and then it comes signed and you can write your name here. This book belongs to and it says book bonanza 2023 exclusive edition at the top there's a map and look at the, look at, oh my gosh, look. Okay, so you have this artwork. Are you joking? On the front and then Hala. I freaking love Hala. And then look at all of like the, look at, look, look, look at the title page. Like, like I am in awe. Like I freaking love this. And then Matthew's chapters have that as well. Like I'm in love with this so much. Yes, okay. Let's get on to the other one. This one is the Half Orcs Maiden Bride. I love this one as well. There's that foil shiny cover. Then the back has a quote that says, if you're done flattering my bride, I'd like to take a look at her. <laughs> yes. And then again, you have the inside flap. And then this step back is gorgeous as well. Um, off, there we go. Look at that. <gasps> 
Okay, I wish they were also selling prints of like the step backs because I would buy those too. Like I would buy those too and frame them for my bookshelves. Um, again, signed with Book Bonanza 2023. There's also a map for this one. And then here is the illustration of Yolanthe, like, and it has the like pretty thing with their name too. Like I love it. And then the back cover has the step back again. It's very shiny. And then um, like the other one, when you take the dust jacket off, it is like Yolanthe on the cover in the back. Like I'm in love with these, like $50 well spent. Like I, I, lo I love these books so much. And then uh, let's get into the other books I ended up buying. <laughs> these were all of my pre-orders that just came pre-signed by Ruby. Um, and all of these books have a signed by the author sticker on them, which is cool. So When She Purrs, I didn't own this book. War Sky, also autographed copy. Like these are all just like, just already signed by Ruby and all of them came with a bookmark as well. I didn't have a copy of Prison Planet Barbarian. There are the Rizdiverse Tales like collection. I think there's four Rizdiverse Tales in here. Then we have um, an autographed copy of Ardral's Resonance. And then lastly are these two Chunky Monkeys. This is Bound to the Battle God and Sworn to the Shadow God. These are her first two books in her fantasy romance series. They are chunky books. I didn't pre-order the third one because the third one is not my favorite Ruby book, but it's okay. Like. I love these ones, so I had to pre-order them. Okay, that's all the Ruby stuff done. <laughs> Again, if you wanna know all the merch and stuff that I ended up getting at her table, be sure to join my channel memberships to see everything that I got. I also do wanna mention, I brought all of these books to Book Bonanza, but ended up not getting them signed for whatever reason. Um, the Karina Halley books, um, she ended up not being able to come due to like fly-ish, flying issues. And so I didn't get those signed. And then I didn't get to see Anna Huang because her lines were so long. And then this Pam Godwin like was already signed and I don't know why I brought it with me, but I did. And then um, I ended up just not seeing Judy Ellen Malpass. She like completely slipped my mind and I also haven't read this book. And then Tilly Cole's line was like always astronomically long. Like you would have had to wait like an hour to see her. So, um, Victoria and I ended up not seeing her because uh, her line was too long. So we both didn't get our book signed, but it's okay. Like out of all the books that I brought, like only these like weren't signed. So I'm totally fine with that. Next is my Emma Scott stack. <laughs> um, this is my Emma Scott. These are all the books I came back with from Emma Scott. Um, I probably bought half of these while I was there. It's fine. It's okay. I love her so much. So it's fine. I got to meet her. She was so sweet and so nice. And um, I have a funny story to tell too. Um, but I'll show first the books that I brought to get signed. And then I'll show you um, the books I ended up purchasing. So I ended up bringing all of these books with me to get signed. Um, she signed them all in different colors, which was so cool. I think she had like a specific color pen dedicated to each book. And so um, she did write this one, Avery, you are universe XOXO Emma Scott um, for the full tilt first one. But a funny story is I obviously came with both books, right? This book is new because she was signing all in, like my version of all in, and she had to stop while she was writing. And her assistant was like, what, what's going on? And um, apparently she wrote her real name in my version of all in. And so they had to like, give me, just give me a new one. <laughs> and her assistant was like, in all the years that I've ever helped you with signings, like that has never happened before. So I feel very special that she felt comfortable enough to like write her real name in, <laughs> in my copy of all in. So this is a new, version i have no idea if i had like highlights or anything in my other copy like i do not care um i got this new edition of all in and she did sign it this is the main way she signed it which she just wrote avery xoxo emma sky and so that's what she did for the four books that i ended up bringing there she just wrote my name and then xoxo emma scott in like all different colors like I love that. These are the four books that I pre-ordered from her. First is the novella Endless Possibility, which takes place after Rush, the book that I brought with me. Um, and so I really enjoyed that one. And she wrote Avery Loved Meeting You. While she was signing my books, like her assistant kept putting down books and books and books for her to sign that I ended up purchasing. And she was like, wow, I love you. You bought all these. Like, I love her. Like, I love her book so much. She was like top three favorite authors that I really wanted to see at that signing. So I'm so happy that I did. Um, and then I ended up 
purchasing the exclusive edition of Between Hello and Goodbye by Emma Scott. I have not read this book yet, um, but I've heard amazing things and this one is just so pretty. Like, look at that flower. And then I also pre-ordered um, The Sinner and The Muse by Emma Scott. I believe this one's MM and the, they're both paranormal romances. Like, he has wings. Like, he's stunning. So I, I had to get these. Like, I just love Emma Scott and her books. And then while I was at her table, I ended up buying three books. I, I just did. I could not help myself. So um, I saw this and couldn't not buy it. This is A Five Minute Life. Like, look at how beautiful that is. Like, it's a painting. Like, it's so stunning. I have no idea what this is about, honestly. I have never seen this book before, um, but I'm, I'm, I'm ecstatic to have this. And then I just had to purchase this duet. Brie loves it, and so I had to buy it. Um, I think this is like a love triangle or like cheating romance, and if anyone can get me to like the, that, those two tropes, it's Emma Scott, so. Um, yeah, I think she like falls for this guy, um, but the best friend like met her first or something. I don't know, but um, I, I just had to get these two as well. That's my whole Emma Scott stack. I loved meeting her. She was so incredibly sweet and kind, and I love the picture that I took with her as well. Like, she was so incredibly sweet and just so talented. I love her. Okay, so the next two stacks of books that I have are, um, first stack are books that I ended up just bringing with me to get signed, which I'll go through those quickly. And then I have a stack of, um, authors that I saw that I got books signed from, or I also like bought a new book with that. So I did get to meet Gianna Darling. I brought these three books with me and um, they are all signed the same way. She writes your name and just XOXO Gianna Darling in this beautiful gold pen. She was incredibly sweet um, and just like stunning. She's a stunning woman. I also got to meet the lovely Chloe Lise and I got all of her books signed. <gasps> I love her. I got, I got, I, I went and saw her three times. I don't care. I saw her three times. It's fine. There was like no one in the line like the second two times. So I felt like it was fine. I just adore her. And every single book she signed, she wrote to Avery XO Cleelys. Um, And so I loved seeing her and just getting to talk to her. I love talking to her. I love her so much. And she was running her booth like all by herself. Like she was doing fantastic. She's incredibly sweet, incredibly kind. Like I just keep saying that about all these authors, but they are like these authors are amazing and meeting her was definitely like a highlight of my life and like we were just so excited to finally see each other in person like we were like she she was so sweet this is supposed to be a secret but i did end up meeting katie wilde who helped ruby at her table and um she may or may not have uh signed something for me it says avery be kind and love and you'll always have the strongest magic like Shh, it's a secret though don't tell anybody like <laughs> anyway um i also got to see shay savage um because i love this book so much this is transcendent which is her caveman romance and for this one she wrote for avery caveman cavemen need love to shay savage um i need everyone to read this book like right now because it's just so good i then did get to see pam godwin i got two editions of Sea of Ruin signed. Um, one of them is for a friend. She knows who she is. That will be sent to her very soon. Um, and she wrote in here to Avery, here's to love in a sea of ruin and Pam Godwin. It was amazing being able to watch Tiffany meet that woman. Like she was like sobbing and Pam was like in love with her. Like I loved witnessing that. Like it was everything so be sure to go watch tiffany's vlog whenever it comes out because like i ended up filming some of it and it was fantastic to witness like the way that woman loves pam godwin like i love it i got to meet adriana Locke as well i really like this one this is a friends to lovers marriage of convenience romance and she wrote in this one Avery happy reading. She was really sweet. Um, and like one of the first authors that I got to meet at the signing. So, and then Tiffany got this book signed for me. This is A Lesson in Thorns by Sierra Simone. Sierra Simone's lines are always super long at signings. And so I knew there was no way I was going to be able to meet her if I did not get a wristband. Um, so Tiffany got a wristband. And so she was like, I'll get their book signed for you. And I was like, thank you, Tiffany. And so this is the book sign is Avery Elizabeth Thorns and this is Sierra Simone's signature look at that like 
and I can't wait to watch that vlog clip whenever P Tiffany puts that in her vlog. Like, I'm excited. And then I also got to see Sophie again. She recognized me, which was so cool. I got Snow signed because that is the only book that I have that Sophie has not already signed for me because um, I got to meet her last September. And for this one, she wrote for Avery Sophie Lark. And then I also won a keychain from their table as well. Um, but I don't know where that is, so. I also got to see Nikki Sloan. I ended up not getting a picture with her um, because it was like towards the end of the signing and I was like rushing to get my book signed. Um, so I believe she personalizes like every single one of her books and has like a quote in it. So it says, Avery, just what the doctor ordered, Nikki Sloan. This is a great ex's dad romance, like so hot. Meeting Andy Arndt was such a joy. She's one of the narrators, a part of the signing. And um, like talking to her about this book was just amazing. I was telling her how I've never laughed so hard in a book in my entire life reading this book. This audiobook is fantastic. And I also got like some fantastic book recommendations from her. Um, and then she also had like a sticker for Tara Civic's name to be put in the book. So I love that. I have both of their signatures in here. Oh my gosh, I totally forgot. But I did go to a signing before Bug Bonanza. Um, it was at Half Price Books. And um, there was like a bunch of authors there, but the two that I got to meet were Kennedy Ryan and Laura Thalassa. So Kennedy Ryan was absolutely beautiful. She ended up not being able to attend Book Bonanza, um, but she ended up going to this half price book signing and seeing like all of my friends meet her was like a new experience in and of itself because they love her so much. And the way that Kennedy Ryan loves my friends, like, so I brought my copy of Real, which was already signed that I got literally like close to a year ago today um, when we went to Atlanta. Um, we went to the Eagle Eye bookstore um, where she used to live in Atlanta and had a bunch of pre-signed copies. So I got a copy there and I just asked her to personalize it for me, even though it's already signed. Um, and I just got to chat with her and she was really sweet and cute. And she like reposted my post on her Instagram. It was so cool. And then also, oh my gosh, she posted like Zay's picture with her on her reels on Instagram. It was so cool. I love that for her. Um, and then I also got to meet Laura Thalassa. I recently read Pestilence. Um, so I got her to sign this and she was so sweet. Victoria and I and Jess, we all went and saw her at her table. Um, and I think like a day or two later when we were actually at the Gaylord, um, we bumped into Laura Thalassa and she like recognized me and Victoria. And it was so cool. She was like, oh my gosh, how are y'all? Like she remembered us, like it was so cool. And I ended up getting uh, The Bridge Kingdom signed by Danielle L. Jensen. I went straight up to your table um, and here it's signed by her. Um, but I was like, I'm currently reading this, but I'm struggling because I have a really big shark phobia and there are sharks in here. And I didn't know there were gonna be sharks in here before I got into it. I don't know if I would have picked this up if I knew sharks were in it. So like, I'm slowly trucking my way through this without like trying to freak out. And so I told her, I was like, I'm struggling because there's sharks and I have a huge shark phobia. And she was like, oh yeah, I do too. I write my phobias into my books. I'm like, girl, how do you do that? How do you do that? <laughs> um, but I really wanted to get book two, but uh, they were like all sold out um, by day two, which is totally fine because I saved some money for my wallet. So it's okay. <laughs> it's a secret. It's like a blessing in disguise. Um, then I got to meet Devney Perry and I got my copy of Juniper Hill signed. Um, she was so sweet. I got to meet her with Victoria and Victoria is a total Devney Perry fan and like Devney Perry remembered Victoria. It was so cool. I then got Liar signed by Fiona Cole. I have not read this book yet. This one says Avery Lie a Little. Um, I have not read this book yet, but I have read the first two books in the series and I got to tell her the most embarrassing story of my entire life reading Voyeur, like listening to it. If y'all know that story, you know that story. It's so embarrassing, um, but she cackled. It was fun. We both laughed. It's fine. And then the last one, a part of the stack before I get into new purchases is Brooke Lanier by Serena Bowen. Um, she wrote for Avery with love and palindromes, Serena Bowen. I really love this one. So um, if you want to read a good hockey romance series, pick up Serena Bowen's books. These are books that um, from authors that I either bought something new at their table and I got books signed from them or I just bought something from their table. Anyway, so the first one that I have is Highest Bitter by Sarah Kate. This was a pre-order from me. I ended up not being able to like meet Sarah Kate because her line was incredibly long and I've already met Sarah Kate, so it was fine. So I just picked up my pre-order um, and it was signed by Sarah Kate. Next is my Catherine Cowell stack. I ended up bringing these three books with me. Um, and this one was already signed, Shattered Sea. And then Tattered Stars. She ended up personalizing this one for me, as well as Falling Embers that I brought with me. 
And then I ended up pre-ordering these two that I did not have a part of the series. Um, we have Fractured Sky and Hidden Waters. Hidden Waters is probably my favorite book in the series. And she wrote Ava, Catherine Cowles. And this one is also signed by her. Um, meeting her was so surreal. I loved finally meeting her in person. She is so sweet and so kind. And like, she like wanted to talk to me. Like it was so cool. And um, she was just so incredibly sweet, like talking about like Brie and I's book club. Like, oh, I love that woman so much. And she's so beautiful. Like she's stunning. Then I also had another pre-order um, from KJ Sutton. Um, I had, I brought this book with me. This is Fortuna Sworn. Um, is she, so she signed it for Avery with her signature. And then um, these prints were given to me too. You have like a bookmark and like a print of the, um, if you know, you know, the couple in this book, it's like a love triangle fantasy romance series. Um, and then I pre-ordered the last book in the series and I asked her like, oh, are there any more books left for the other books in the series? Cause I don't own any of the, any of the other ones. Cause I've only read books one and two. Um, and I pre-ordered just the last book. Um, and she was like, no, we're all sold out. So, um, yeah, but she was so incredibly sweet and I just got to talk to her about her world and her books and like all the audios for this are already out, which is super cool. And just like, look at how thick this book is. Like, it's so beautiful and so thick, like, I love it. Then I ended up meeting QB Tyler. I've never read a QB Tyler book, but I think that this book will be a book that I love. This is Keep Her Safe by QB Tyler, which is her, um, what's it called? Bodyguard romance. <laughs> I think I'm really gonna love this one because I love bodyguard romances so much. And like, I think my friends have said that I would really enjoy this one. Um, that's all I know is that it's a bodyguard romance. And she wrote Avery XOXO QB Tyler. And then I also got some like other free stuff at her table. So that'll be in like my merch haul video that I do for my members. And then I also got to finally meet Laura Lynn Page in person. We've chatted a few times on Instagram. Um, and I told her how much uh, this duet means to me. This is Man in Charge and Man in Love. Um, the heroine's best friend in here has pots and I just love the representation of pots in here. Laura Lynn Page's daughter has pots and so she had to like write the representation into her books and it was done so well. Um, and um, she was just so sweet and we got to talk about just like representation in general. So in this one, she wrote um, Avery be a woman in charge, Laura Lynn Page. And in Man in Love, she ended up writing Avery choose yourself. And then also they were just getting giving these books for free. Um, it's a novella by her um, called Dirty Filthy Billionaire, a Dirty Universe novella. Um, and yeah, it's signed. Avery, you're on the filthy list, Laura Lynn Page. She was so nice. I also got to like chat with her in the elevator like a time or two, so that was really cool. And then my last chunk of books are my candy signer books. I brought this one with me, which is what he always knew. Um, she only was personalizing one book because like everyone was in her line. So um, I ended up purchasing these two books um, and I got this one personalized. This is On the Way to You. I really enjoyed this one. This is like one of the only road trip romances that I like. <laughs> it's so good. It has really good mental health rep. This one says Avery Say Yes to Life, Candy Steiner. And then um, I also bought Say Yes, um, which I know has disability representation. Um, so I just had to purchase this one because disability rep. Yeah, so um, she was so cool, so cool. That is my stack. Oh, also I got two books, a part of like the swag bag that you get. So I'll show those off. Um, you, everyone got a copy of The Pawn by Sky Warren and um, The Unwanted Marriage by Katharina Mora. Um, so yeah, I didn't get to meet either of these authors. Her booth was crazy the entire time. She was beautiful though. I have a lot of books I have to put away. I just have stacks and stacks of books around me. And uh, this video is quite long. So good thing I'm doing like my merch and swag and stuff in like a different video because this video would be very long. Anyway, um, let me know down below if you went to Book Bonanza and what was the favorite book that you bought. Um, and um, let me know if you're planning on going next year. I don't know if I'm going to, um, we'll see. Uh, if it's in my budget <laughs> again. Um, but yeah, I have to go put all these books away now. Um, thank you all so, so much for watching. If you don't feel like commenting anything else for this video, you can leave me a rose emoji in the comment section down below. But anyways, thank you all so, so much for watching. I will see y'all soon in my next one. Bye y'all.